Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 9th, 2020. I am Russ and I get to be your information person for today, so please sit with me and I'll, I'll fill you in what I know. We do know that the Senate, the, the Senate Republicans have revealed their small stimulus package and I will basically let you know what is inside the stimulus package a bit later in the program. They have named this stimulus package the Safe to Work Act. And the Senate will be voting on this package tomorrow, which is Thursday. Negoti negotiations are still basically going on for the bigger stimulus package with basically uh, hopefully no hope in sight from what I understand because it's Republicans don't like stuff inside it, Democrats don't like stuff inside it, so they're going to squabble and squabble and squabble, most likely until they go back on break on October 9th for another month. And that's right, the Senate goes back on another paid vacation on October 9th for 30 days. So hopefully they can pass a stimulus pa package with a stimulus check in it for the people before they go on their next vacation, because they won't be back from their next vacation uh, until after the elections. At which time they'll have a full table ahead of them of, of what to do. And Trump has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Okay, I sort of think this is a joke. Because I forget exactly who it was that actually nominated him for it. It wasn't, it wasn't an American person, I guarantee you that. It was someone else out of the country. And they said that he has basically paved the street forward to make, to bring peace to other nations. And yet, he can't even bring peace to his own country. So how's that for a Nobel Peace Prize? That doesn't really make any sense, does it? And the Safe to Work Act has basically the new, the skinny bills it's called. The Safe to Work Act basically has uh, more unemployment for, for people who are already receiving unemployment for a total of $300 a week until December 27th of this year. So basically, if you're already receiving, say, $100 a month, sorry, $100 a week unemployment, the $100 will be jacked up to $400 because you'll be getting $300 on top of your standard unemployment. And then, let's see here. The um, self-employed and the small businesses, small business owners, sorry, of, I think I said 100 employees or less, would receive more paycheck protection money. Businesses and schools would receive enhanced liability protection to shield them from COVID-related lawsuits. How nice, right? That's going to be a sticker for the Democrats. Right? There's the liability protection because they don't want it. And I'm surprised it's even inside there because most Republicans don't want that either. They think the liability protection is a waste. And then parents with children would receive tax credits to help cover the cost of homeschooling or private schools. The post office would get $10 billion. And didn't we just vote on a, uh, a stimulus package for the post office that had $25 billion in it? I mean, wasn't, wasn't it the Delivering for America Act that we voted on that had $25 billion in it for the post office to save their ass? Excuse my language. Um... There's also be $10 billion for farmers, uh, $20 billion for schools, oh sorry, wrong, that's the wrong part, Ten, uh, <laughs> the post office would receive $10 billion, farmers would receive $20 billion, the fisheries would receive half a billion dollars, and schools would receive $105 billion in funding, that'd be $16 billion for testing, $31 billion in COVID-19 vaccine and for research and development. Now, what this skinny bill does not have in it, there is nothing for essential workers. Now, there's all the essential workers, such as myself and those others out there that might watch this video. You are getting, we are all getting screwed by our government because they seem to care more, less about the people that actually kept this economy alive while everyone else was in quarantine than anything else, but that's my opinion. There is no funding for state and local governments. So basically, without no state and local government assistance, that means 
that most of those state and local government employees are going to be getting close to being laid off or let go because the funding is not there to keep them on the shift. There is no eviction protection. That's right. There is no eviction protection in this skinny bill. I mean, although the, C the CDC's ban against evictions works for those who actually have COVID-related hardships, but it does not cover for all renters. There is no second stimulus check. That's right. There is no second stimulus check in the skinny bill. Which, if you stick with me on this one, I'll, I'll, give, you a, I'll give you a why there should be a stimulus check in the skinny bill, but we'll see here. So basically, the total cost for this whole package is $350 billion. Well, they're gonna, this whole thing is actually going to cost them a lot less than $300, $650 billion. I'll tell you why. Because they are going to basically allocate money, that unused monies, from other stimulus packages, including the CARES Act, to help fund this one. So basically, the $300 billion that our amazing... Tr President Trump said he found in an unknown account, which was basically from the CARES Act, is now going into pay for the $650 billion skinny bill, which brings the basically total cost of the skinny bill down to $300 billion. Now, <clears throat> here's what I don't get. Okay. We have the CARES Act, which has $300 billion left in it, which is perfectly amount of money to cover another stimulus check for the people. Donald Trump, the president, says that he found $300 billion, which came from the CARES Act. Well, this, what's it called again? I can't remember what the package is called. This is something lame. It is called the... <laughs> I can't even remember what it's called. Oh, the Safe to Work Act. Okay. <laughs> And the Safe to Work Act costs, like I said, $650 billion. They're taking $350 billion from other stimulus packages out there to fund more than half the cost of this one, bringing the stimulus package total cost down to $300 billion. So if they're going to allocate money from other stimulus packages to pay for this stimulus package, or at least more than half of it, then they should throw in an extra $300 billion in there to give the people another stimulus check because... People, we are out there, we are struggling, we're, star we're starving, we're going homeless, we're getting evicted because not all eviction protections are protecting us as they should be because, as we all know, the one that was mandated from the CARES Act expired more than 30 days ago. Like I said, this, that was everything that was inside the, the a skinny bill and everything that was not inside the skinny bill. So basically, who does it help? If, if, if you... You check out most of the stuff on here. It's talking about okay. It's, it's helping out parents with children that do homeschooling or private schooling. That's a plus. One hundred and fifty billion dollars for schools. That's a plus. Uh, ten billion dollars for the post office since they already got twenty-five billion dollars. I don't think they need ten billion more. Uh, let's see here. Farmers would receive twenty billion dollars. Farming and agriculture is a very important part of the United States, as well as the fisheries getting half a billion dollars. And then testing for the COVID-19, as well as for research and development, for a grand total of $47 billion. Okay, that's important as well. But where's where the rest of the money that's supposed to go out to the people? There's, they're talking about enhanced unemployment, but they're going to they're gonna cut you in half. So instead of getting $600 a week, you'd be getting $300 a week. Some people can make that work, but not all people can make that work. So that's really going to hurt you guys. And I say you guys because I happen to be un I happen to be employed. Not at a, a very high-paying job, my dad, but I'm still employed, so I don't, I don't get unemployment. In fact, I haven't got the unemployment at all since, since I've been employed during the whole pandemic as an essential worker. But that's a topic for a different day. <laughs> I keep seeing news stories out there as well as other stories out there about how our COVID cases are on the decrease. And as I keep checking the numbers, the numbers keep going up. So I'll pop up a picture up here or up here, one or two, 
somewhere on the side of uh, the current COVID numbers. I'll pick, I'll pop up with COVID numbers for the United States for last week and for this week, and I'll let you guys ju judge: are is our numbers decreasing? Or are they still going up? Because even if they're going up slowly, they're still going up. So all these false reports that our numbers are decreasing are just that, they're false reports. Also, plus, be very aware of people out there that are saying that, oh, second stimulus check in four days or, or something like that along, along those lines. Those are just clickbaiters wanting you to click on there to give them a view because most of their content is not based on fact. It's just based on supposition and guesses which does you guys no good. My information is actually based off fact. I do do the research for you guys, which is very important that I give you accurate and up-to-date information as I have it. But for now, I will say I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Have an excellent nice rest. And if you're in any of those states out there that are actually paying unemployment, please put some food in your stomach so you can actually don't go hungry and try to stay safe out there. Until then, you guys have an excellent Wednesday. Bye.